Hey there, and welcome to another episode of A Hormonal Woman's Guide to Hallmark. Camera adjustment. The internet's only pregnancy-induced Hallmark movie critiquing show. I have now officially entered my third trimester, which means we are in the final stretch of this pregnancy. We are almost there. We're getting it done. Getting it done. But today we're on Amazon Prime watching Accidentally Engaged. The description. Famous actor Chase Hunter and aspiring actress Cal Clarissa Byers agree to a fake engagement to improve both of their reputations. However, playing pretend starts to feel all too real as the two start to fall for one another. This seems an awful like the movie Proposal. If you haven't seen it, it stars Ryan Reynolds and Sandra Bullock, and it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, so this seems like that kind of a movie. Not too sure how we're going to do this, how it's gonna be, but we're gonna see. So let's watch it and find out if it's any good. So the lead actress of this movie was the same lead actress from A Dog Walker's Christmas Tale or whatever, which was also a pretty shitty movie. Oh my God, it's Noel Kahn. I think it's Noel Kahn. Yes, the lead actor in this is Noel Kahn. Already don't trust him. It was a heart to heart with her publicist, which I don't think publicists would have heart to hearts with their clients. So apparently Clarissa has been too busy with auditions to be more present in her best friend's wedding planning. So her best friend demoted her from maid of honor to like co-maid of honor, which is basically just a bridesmaid. Choss. His name is pronounced Choss Hunter. That makes like it even worse. Why would you like to- Oh, Choss. The acting is terrible and it's just, just so bad. So now Clarissa has been texting a guy named Graham. Everyone's saying Instapic. We gotta take an Instapic moment. We gotta do an Instapic. What the fuck is that? You're like, why is the groom crashing the bridal shower? Doesn't matter. My husband crashed my bridal shower. It was hilarious. So now Chaz got photographed with some girl outside a bar or whatever, and it looks awful like Clarissa. So everyone assumes that Clarissa is dating Chaz. So Chaz is dating a married woman. Not Chaz, Chaz. He's dating a married woman and she's like, maybe you should pretend to date Clarissa so that people don't know that we're together when I'm in a divorce. Oh, Charles is dating his publicist. So now he's going back to wherever the hell Clarissa's from for the weekend for her best friend's wedding and they're pretending that they're engaged and now they're having this really long heartfelt conversation in the car ride and it's really annoying. Ugh. <sighs> Her friend, Clarissa's friends are fucking horrible, horrible people. But they're like, why would Chaz be with you? It doesn't make any sense. They're drinking sparkling cider, like out of the bottle. I don't know if it's supposed to be like they're drinking champagne, but they're drinking sparkling cider out of the bottle on the beach while having a heart to heart at the bachelor and bachelorette party. Oh, that dress is ugly as hell. Now they're kissing. So now Chaz's married girlfriend found out that her husband cheated on her. So now they can get a divorce. She can get all the money. So now they're having a very overdramatic breakup where she's saying like super real things about Chaz. But they've only been dating for like a week, quote unquote dating. Now Cl Clarissa's mom is like, oh, you're not engaged, but you lied to me but you're not engaged yet. I saw the look in his eye when he was with you. <laughs> okay, so, ugh, the movie was shitty. It was a shitty ass movie. The ending was rushed and then all of a sudden they're like making out or kissing, I guess, in the cafe where she worked after she put in her two week notice because she landed a gig on a reoccurring TV show, like a reoccurring thing. It was just not, Great. It got a five and a half out of 10 on IBMD, IBDM, IMDB, and four and a half out of five stars on Amazon alone. But the movie wasn't that good. It really wasn't that good. Dialogue sucked. You could tell it was low budget. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have to give it like, like a four. Cause at least no calm was in it and he's hot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give it a four. Oh, that's sad. That was this episode of A Hormonal Woman's Guide to Hallmark. I hope you enjoyed it. 
hit the subscribe button and comment below with any recommendations or movies that you would like me to watch. I'll get around to it eventually. And we only got 12 weeks left of this thing, so 12 more weeks and then we're back to our regularly scheduled stoned fun times. So stick around.